watching your lawn. Now this spot is a result of an umbrella stand. We had a large umbrella stand, a nice big fat marble stand that was sitting here for quite some time. And well, this is what has happened. Obviously the ground underneath has died. Now I really like the marble, um, the stand, the umbrella stand sitting here and shading the garden. But I decided that it just took up too much space. It wasn't actually in the original plan. And so what I've done is I've created a space inside the bed and I've moved it into the bed. So I still have the umbrella, but I don't have it taking up the space. And this little anchor in the ground, I'm going to take that out too. That was actually to give the umbrella a little more support in case I had it open and then a little bit of wind came. So now I've got this bare spot. Now, this is actually really, really simple and I'm sure most of you know exactly how to patch a lawn. You simply, you know, take some uh, grass seed and sprinkle it on. But I have found that there are a few tricks to this. First of all, if you water your patch really good, one, maybe two times before you put your seed down, you're going to have a quicker germination of your grass seed. Also, if you mix in a little bit of fertilizer, just an ordinary general uh, organic fertilizer in with your seed or sprinkle it lightly on top, you're going to also have um, greener, faster, stronger, healthier grass. If you go to your local garden center and you look at the fertilizers, you'll see that there's a fertilizer for grass and a fertilizer for tomatoes and a fertilizer for blooming flowers. I mean, there's just there's a fertilizer for everything. In reality, we don't actually need this many fertilizers. What we really need is one general fertilizer because essentially it's all the same thing. It's just a matter of how strong it is for which type of plant. So something like your grass, you can use just a nice organic fertilizer, nothing too strong. You do not want to scorch your grass. I have done that in the past by accident where I just threw some down and there it was and it was, um, it's very frustrating to get rid of that. So I don't recommend using any strong fertilizer. What I do recommend is using a very soft, mild, organic fertilizer, preferably one that's for um, organic vegetables is a really good idea. So what I would do with this patch, now I've got the grasses growing nice and tall on the edges and I'm going to leave that there just for a few days to kind of protect it a little bit. Um, the, the animals will probably come and eat all this off as well. So I'm going to give it a good soaking of water. So I'm going to look when I water it heavily and see if it drains in any one direction and I can see that it was draining off a little here. So then what I'm going to do, I just grab this out of the ground, out of the garden behind me. I'm just going to sprinkle some extra dirt there because what I don't want is when I go to actually put down the seeds, I don't want them all to wash away, right? It's still spilling off here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I've soaked it twice, twice, two or three times now, uh, just to find out where it's draining off. Oh, Lily, don't go in there yet. And to also, um, to also make sure that the ground is good and wet. Now I'm going to take my grass seeds, which I've put into my little coconut bowl. This is as simple as when you buy coconut and you break it off. If you have a piece that's more of a bowl shape, then I like to keep these and use them in the garden because, of course, I avoid using plastic as much as possible. So this is a great way to use something natural. So I'm just going to sprinkle it. Now some people will say sprinkle it really lightly. So something maybe like this. Do is put a little bit of fertilizer in the bottom of this little coconut bowl and then fill it with my seed. And then I'm going to mix it around just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to sprinkle it pretty heavy. And this is mostly seed, very little fertilizer. But what I'm going for is a pretty completely covered piece. And the reason why I do that is because here in northern Germany, um, we're very, very susceptible to moss. And if the grass has any space at all, the moss will come up and that will be it. The moss will tackle your, your lawn, it will pretty much take over, you'll end up with no grass at all. And of course the moss turns brown and the green is just not the same. So when it's done it should look something like that. You do not want to cover this over with, with dirt or rake it in in any way because the grass seed actually requires the sun in order to germinate. But what you do want to do is keep it nice and wet. So I've already watered the ground. Um, and now I'm just going to give it a light water on top and I'm going to hope that it stays in place because I've made the ground nice and level. And there we go, it's staying really well. If you have chickens, ducks or moss, make sure that you put down more seed than you would normally put down. I'm Scarlett.
Thanks for watching. This is how to patch your grass. Look, the ducks have arrived already. Oh, and they're making dents. So oh, no. Okay. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots of cool things in store for you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo. What do you guys think? Can you not walk in the new grass? Ah, and it was so perfect and flat. You know what? If you have pets like this and you want to keep them off the grass, um, putting a little grate on top might be a good idea. I think I'm going to go get a little grate or maybe a little wooden box that I can stick on here. <laughs> so the sun can come through, but the animals can't. I don't mind that they eat the seeds, but, um, but this dirt is actually a little soft and I don't want their footprints getting into it because of course I want it to be flat like the rest of the garden. Just a side note, if you've got lots of pets, perhaps you might want to think about covering it up. Toodaloo. Look at this, I gotta take all your spots out. <laughs>